I bought this abandoned house in Spain in the middle of nowhere with no electricity and no water. But the first thing that I needed here was internet, of course. Thanks God there is a little bit of signal outside and I can use my mobile phone to connect to the internet and to work. But the problem is that the house is very old and made of stone and the walls of the house these deep of the length of my arm. There is a little bit of signal outside, but inside it was very low, about 2 megabits. It's almost impossible to read anything and of course it's impossible to work normally or to have meetings online. I couldn't install satellite or Starlink as I was thinking before because they both need to be connected to the electricity electricity, which I didn't think about, I came across the solution that works without electricity. It's a simple transmitter of the signal. One end is receiving end that you can put where you have a strong signal. For this you need to find a place where you have strong sing signal. And another end you put inside the place, in my case it's inside the house, where you want to have a stronger signal. For me it was a game changer, because before I had 2 megabits inside the house, and now I have 17 megabits inside the house, which is incredible. I can work normally, uh, I can uh, even do online meetings, it's, it's really a game changer. And it's very simple to make, it's easy, the materials are cheap. Basically it's made of three parts. One, receiving end which is in the place where you have signal, in my case it's the roof of the house, receives the signal and then through the coaxical cable the signal is transmitted to this end which you put to the place where you want to have signal, in my place it's inside the house. It was uh, easy to make, it was cheap, the entire thing uh, costed me around 15 euros, actually I only bought the coaxical cable. And I'm very happy with the results. I made an entire video about the process, about the detailed process of making it. I will link it above and in the description to this video. And that video became quite popular. But today I'm going to answer the questions that I didn't answer clearly in that video. Uh, does it work? Where to place it? What blocks the signal? Uh, what should be the length of the cable and how to reposition it if needed. I'm going to reposition it today, by the way, and I'm going to show the process. First, does it work? Yes, it does work. I don't know what else to say. It does work. It was 2 megabits inside the house before. Now with this thing, it's 17 megabits. It does work. Where to install it? It's a very important question. You have to find the place with the best signal that you can receive in your area. In my case, it was the roof of the house. And then you put the receiving end the, uh, to the place where you have strong, the strongest signal and the sending end to the place where you want to have internet, where you want to receive internet, right? In my case, it's inside the house, just next to this door. Uh, for me, it's the best place. Now, what blocks the signal? Concrete walls block the signal. Also, walls made of rocks block the signal. What was unknown to me is that trees block the signal quite well and also pine trees block the signal tremendously because every single needle is like an, works like antenna and every single needle, every single antenna doesn't make uh, much difference, but the entire pine tree is like multiple antennas that scatter signal all around. You don't want your receiving end next to pine trees. And also, water and humidity blocks the signal as well. So you don't want the receiving end next to the plants, next to the trees, blocked by any other buildings, if possible. And you don't want it next to the humid place, for example, to your source of water or just humid corner of your garden. No, you don't want it there. You want it in the dry, as much as possible open place on the hill and dry. The next one, what should be the length of the cable? When you find your perfect place where you are going to put the receiving end, you will know the length of your cable, right? To the place where you want to, to transmit the signal to. I bought 20 meters, uh, which was a little bit an overkill and it was uh, hanging like, like this over here for a long time, but now I don't regret it because now I, I'm going to reposition this cable 
from this place, from the facade of my house, to another place, to go inside the house and through the chimney on the top of the house, on the roof. So basically the position inside the house and, and on the roof won't change, but the cable will be going inside the, and inside the house with all other cables to make it look nicer. So when you know the position where you're going to put one end and when, where you're going to put another end, you know the length of your cable. And yes, I would recommend to make it a little bit longer than you think you will need. So how to reposition the cable? This is my end that goes inside the house. If you put it together like I did yourself, it won't be a big mystery, but I will show for those who are just thinking about doing this. So there is a connector here. We need to disconnect this part, this cable, from this part to pull it away. That's what I'm going to do right now. Two screws over here. I'm unscrewing them and I'm going to disconnect this. And now I can pull the cable up and then I will reposition the cable to where I want it. I want it to go inside the house, not on the facade of the house. And then I will put it back the same way and will screw these two screws. This is my beautiful roof that I have already repaired. And this is electricity that I have now and all the cables are going inside this old chimney and I'm going to put this cable inside the chimney as well. Now it's over there and I'm going to reposition it. It's over here now. I'm going to reposition it to there. just connected it back and I decided to put it in a little bit different place next to my uh, next to my chimney and next to my projector screen this is it this is a good cheap easy to make solution to improve signal inside your house for me it took 2 megabits up to 17 megabits of speed for 4g internet and I'm super happy about it I also read in the comments that people are using this for during camping. I think it's a great idea. I think I mentioned it before, my videos are six months delayed from the actual state of the things here, because I didn't have time to edit my previous video. Now I have Starlink that gives me about 100 megabit per second uh, for speed, which I use, but I still keep these for mobile, for mobile signal inside the house for calls and also for the case of emergency, for internet and also for the guests who are coming for short period and, and are not connecting to Wi-Fi for their convenience to use their phones as usual. But I only have Starlink since recently because to have Starlink I had to have electricity in my house first and to have electricity to install solar panels I had to repair my roof before. So I repaired the roof first and then I installed solar panels and after that I was able to have Starlink. But this is another story for another time. Bye!